All right, these three tricks are gonna help you turn repetition into a superpower in your business. Make that work for you. Now, have you guys ever felt like um, you've had to repeat things over and over and over and over and over again, and it's just pretty much irritating? You know, I've been there. I still do it. I still repeat things. But the difference is now I've learned how to repeat those things and make them a positive in my business. So what if you could turn it into a positive for your business, the repetition? So that's what we're going to be talking about today. Uh, put hashtag uh, positive in the comments below if, if you're on board with that. So let's figure out how to, to move this forward in your business and turn that around. Now, uh, I was thinking about a story not too long ago. Um, my younger boy, he, uh, when we told him he needed to repeat something over and over and practice it, he said, well, why would I do that? I already know that. So how many of you feel like that? Why would I do it again if I already know it? Um, put hashtag no in the, in the comments if you felt like that. I've felt like that before, but I have learned to change the mindset into what do I gain out of this? And we're going to be talking more about that today. But if you are stuck in a mindset that you already know everything, that you've got nothing else to learn, nothing else to improve on, then I, I guess you've peaked, right? So that's not where I want to be. I want to continue to grow and develop. And I hope that you guys want to continue to grow and develop. And, and hopefully today's training can help you actually do that. So a lot of this comes from, uh, I have a background in competitive gymnastics, power tumbling and trampoline also. And as growing up, I, I did these things and, and competed at a high level and a national level in the United States. And the, like, this was a big passion of mine and I, I loved competing, but I also loved the camaraderie, camaraderie that came along with it, with the team and especially the coaches, because that team and coaches, they could help me see things that I could not see and give me an outside perspective. Now, as, as I did that, and as I was training, I had to do that, those things over and over and over again. And some days I did not want to do the same thing over again. I wanted to do the big tricks, but as I focused on the, the little things, you know, like squeezing your legs or pointing your toes and, and things like that, those fundamentals turned into power in my competitions that allowed me to do the big things. And the same thing is going to happen in business is you have fundamentals, you have the little things and you've got to repeat them. And you may have heard the, the saying practice makes perfect. If you've heard that before, put hashtag practice below. And I'm going to make a tweak to that because I had an instructor once that said, I said the same thing. I thought practice makes perfect, right? You've been told that your whole life. Practice makes perfect. But instead, perfect practice makes perfect. If you practice the wrong things over and over and over again, guess what? You're going to develop some bad habits. So it's important to realize that, hey, maybe I, I've got little tweaks and corrections to make so that I can push forward. And so as you're constantly working to tweak and improve, you're going to get better and better. And so that's a huge thing. So the first thing that we're going to talk about today is you got to try it out. You have to start somewhere. Wherever you're at, own it. Be okay with it. That is 100% okay. Where you're starting at is different than where anybody else on the planet is starting at. You have your own um, environment, your own feelings, your own experiences, you are starting at your own place. There's, there's no value to comparison there because there's nobody to compare against. You are yourself, you're unique. So you got to try it out. And so you've got to learn through experience. And, and you can't just watch somebody else do your business. You, you can't just uh, read about somebody else doing your business. You've actually got to go and do it. Okay. And that brings us to step number two. Now, step number two is you have to evaluate what happened. You just tried something over here, and then you're gonna take a step back and, and look at it under a, a little bit of a microscope. And now the point of this is not to 
um, get down on yourself. It's not a pity party. It's not to figure out how many negative things you can do. It's about doing a, a, an honest assessment of where things are at. Look at what things went well, be positive, be more positive than negative. Look at the things that went well and that you should keep doing. And then look at some of the, the things that it's like, okay, these are the biggest impacts to what I just did and how I can correct it. And then the last thing that you're going to do is what's one thing I might change? What might I do differently going forward? And that's step three is you're going to make one small tweak. That's it. One. That's all we're looking for is one tweak to make you a little bit better than, than you were yesterday. And sometimes that one small tweak, well, guess what? That's not going to do any good. Um, <laughs> I, I just had an experience recently where I, I have been um, working on some of my ads and things like that and, and improving their performance. And then I made one change and the performance went back down and that's okay. I didn't fail. I just figured out something that didn't work. So I know I'm going to go back to the one that was performing the best and go in and make changes from there. It's all about understanding and knowing where you are at so that you can make that one small tweak and lather, rinse, repeat this process. Try three steps, right? First one, try it out. Then you're going to evaluate, make one tweak and just keep going through that process. And incrementally, you will get better and better every single time you go through this strategy. And that's how you're going to make repetition work for you in your business. So um, I hope you guys got some value out of today. What I'm going to have below is we actually have access to a free 10-day boot camp. And this boot camp is actually something that helped us get going and, and moving in our business and taking our business online. And we want to share that with you so that you can get going and doing these repetitive actions and improving to grow your business. So um, go to jillandlevihunsaker.com slash bootcamp and you'll learn more about the free 10-day bootcamp there. And uh, we'll see you guys in there and look for the link in the description as well and, and it'll be there. So jillandlevihunsaker.com slash bootcamp. Go get your free 10-day bootcamp and we'll talk to you later.